<sighs> okay. I don't know how long this will go. But, uh, okay. I'll go over my first experiences when I went to school. So, I believe I went to school when I was six years old. I went to kindergarten first, of course. And when I went there, well, what happened is, like, on some day, I don't really know, because I didn't pay attention to dates back then, I barely understood them, I'd say. I barely, like, I didn't really understand time, I'd say, for a while, I'd say. I didn't really understand dates, I'd say. I just didn't understand these kinds of it because I didn't care about them, and I wasn't interested in them at all. So I just didn't learn these things for a, quite a bit, I'd say. Um, but on Sunday, when I believe I was six, my mom took me to kindergarten. I may have honestly been five. I remember being six, but yeah. Um... So, you know, I was told, we're going to kindergarten tomorrow, I'll show you, I'll show you off, I'll show you off, I'll show it to you, I'll show it to you, I'll show you how it is, we can see how it is, right? That's what I was told. But I heard the kindergarten, and what I thought was that that meant we're going to a garden, you know? My mum works at a garden, you know? So, I thought I was just going to some garden, I had no idea what the kindergarten was at all. I'd never heard of it, so I just thought I was going to go to a, a garden and just, you know, be there for the majority of my day and go home and, I don't know, <laughs> play Mario Kart Double Dash again because I just did that all the time. Whatever. So, I went there, you know, and I, like, met my teacher that I would have. Her, his name, her, he, her name is, like, Miss Gardner. So, um... Yeah, like, and that was it. Like, I went there for maybe, like, ten minutes, I'd say, and just met this teacher. And then I left. That was it. So I didn't expect that. I, I expected maybe, like, four to six hours, maybe. Because I'd just been on, like, trips with, like, babysitters before. Been my daycare, which I went to for, like, I don't know, eight hours a day or something. So, yeah, I wasn't expecting something that short. I thought it was going to be a bit more major. But no, that's all it was. I believe this was on a Friday. I may be remembering wrong, because this was literally, like, ten years ago. <laughs> I believe it was on a Friday, and then my mom said, yeah, next week you're going there. I barely understood what that meant, I'd say. But, you know. So, next week, I guess, I went there. Um, and I just went to my first class. And I had no idea what I was doing, and I had never been there before, and I wasn't used to, well, I guess I was used to being surrounded by that much people, you know, but then, you know, I was, like, going to be taught letters now, and all these things, and I, I sort of understood how to read a bit already, and reading for me has been, like, easy throughout my school life, I'd say, but, like, yeah, like, that was the first time I went to school, and I remember being sort of just unassuming about it, I'd say, and be like, oh, okay. Just, you know, and you know, I just went back there, and I was like, huh, I guess I'm just here now, all the time, you know? huh, and I was already, like, going to daycare and whatnot, so, and I just, like, walk back home from school, because my home was, like, right next to the school I went to, and, yeah, yeah. You know, at that time, I've looked through my old report cards, and they were even grading you on, like, social skills and whatnot, even back then. And even back then, I was below average. I was actually, I, I was, like, below average in, like, pretty much everything I'd say then, I believe, from my report cards. I could actually make a video, I could make a video later, where I show off all my report cards and show off my homework to you and whatnot. Because I have that. I still have, like, the majority of my old, old homework. Uh, typed and written, and I have um, the majority of my older report cards, so I can show those to you. And you can see the change from how I went to like 
know, straight A student or whatever, like, that's what I am now, I guess, yeah, pretty much, to, like, well, back then, I was literally, like, C and everything, and I was just, like, below average, because I didn't try, because I didn't care, because I wasn't interested, because it wasn't covering any content that I was interested in, by content I was interested in, I mean, video games and anime, <laughs> well, it's just what it was, you know? school, forbade me from partaking in my interests constantly, which all, you know, that was all I cared about, partaking in my interests. School forbade my interests and disapproved of them. And, you know, I'm not, like, saying that I hate them because of that or anything. Not now anymore. But, uh, back then I didn't like it because of that. So all I cared about was partaking in my interests, you know, like, what it was. You know, just thinking and watching slash playing video games and anime and then talking about those things that's all i needed as far as i'm concerned you know that and food and water and i just enjoyed my life sort of i mean like i was still like negative and whatnot anyway i was still just complaining about my life constantly which is why now when i see people just complaining about things without any justification for why they feel so negative negatively about it i consider it childish and foolish but you know then again one just to you know, thinks things are just great and positive and amazing all the time without any justification for it either is also just as foolish in my opinion. You know, no justification for her why one feels the way they do is amusing and, you know, a bit foolish in my opinion. <laughs> a bit, in my opinion. I mean, you know, to be honest, it is just my opinion. And we're not going to get into that how I got that perception, you know, of the world. Because, you know, it was Melee that just changed my perceptions and just... Yeah, I mean, I'm, I've gone, gone over some of this, but I haven't, I haven't, like, gone in detail about how it really, how it really went, this whole opinion transition. And I'm not going through that in this video, so... I'm just going to go through how they taught the classes right now. Yeah, that's, I can go through that faster, I'd say. So, they, in terms of math, they taught... Like, grade one, like, kindergarten was, like, counting in general, I guess. Grade one was, like, addition and, like, some subtraction. And then grade two was, like, just expanding on addition and subtraction. And grade three was, like, multiplication and, like, column addition and, uh, subtraction. And then grade four was, like, division but mostly, um, well, grade four had, like, some division, but it was mostly just multiplication, and then, like, grade five was just, like, division, and then the, the other things, and, like, for me, and I've heard other people were doing, like, other things, like, you know, my program was, like, easy or whatever, but, you know, I just was failing at that, but I didn't try, I'm not really failing, I mean, I guess I was failing, I was doing, like, below average, so, whether that's failing or not is debatable. I mean, I wasn't actually failing. I was just kind of close to it, I guess. So, I wasn't really failing. I was just underperforming. But, you know, I don't consider myself naturally talented in math, really. I mean, I mean, I sort of am, I guess, I would say. It's just, I'm inconsistent. And for me, if I'm inconsistent with something, I consider myself not particularly good at it. Like math, I just don't do it consistently. So, I'm just like, oh, well, not as good at it. You know, English language for me is, like, not as difficult. I do that consistently, I'd say. And if I fail anything, it's just because I don't understand. It's just because of something I haven't learned. Math, I can fail even if I understand how a rule works. So I just consider myself bad at it because of that. Although I've been told I'm actually, like, above average in math as well, so. I don't know. <laughs> Um, but back then, I was just underperforming in math because, you know, I'm inconsistent at it, and I just didn't care at all, so, yeah. <laughs> um, ugh. Okay, so, that's how they did math for... English, all they did was spelling tests. And they did spelling tests, not even from elementary school, but to, like, middle school. All they did was spelling tests. Just spelling test, spelling test, spelling test. That's it. 
That's all I remember. Every week you have a spelling test, and I had no problem with it. I would just get it right all the time. Because I find spelling easy. I find language easy. But spelling, like for me, it wasn't difficult at all. And they just repeated it over and over and over. And I don't know if it's just because they thought I was like mentally deficient. And so, and therefore they gave me like, you know, less strenuous English projects or whatever. Which is why I was never taught how to use the comma, semicolon, colon, apostrophe, etc. You know, or if they just didn't teach it in general. Because, like, I didn't learn how to use punctuation from school. I just learned it from Google searching it on the internet in the summer break between grade 9 and 10. And I just taught myself punctuation through that. I never learned it through school. I mean, I I look at old, like, things I wrote that had commas. But I think that literally was just they were trying to get muscle memory into me for a year, which I forgot after the summer break. You know, because I look at like grade 7 grading, and that has like commas, but then grade 8 doesn't. And then grade 9, you know, had commas, but that's just because uh, I was just like a person just edited my work and put them in there. Which it still doesn't really make sense grammatically when I read it now, I'd say, but you know, whatever. Um, yeah, so, like, they taught English horribly, as far as I'm concerned. They also taught me cursive in grade 3, which I can still sort of use, but <laughs> it is very just, it's pointless, pretty much. Well, no, it, it's, it's, for me, it's not useful enough to teach the way they do, especially when you're just starting to learn English, I'd say, so. For me, that should only be taught in, like, an advanced English class you take in, like, college or something. For me, teaching it, you know at that age is just not beneficial in total you know for me it's like a bit archaic and you know for those who say oh well we teach it so you can read the declaration of independence well i'm not american <laughs> and you know even though i wouldn't mind reading it i can just look up a text you know writing of it rather than the original paper writing of it so eh I mean, like, why? Like, why? Like, seriously? If that's really the only reason, then that's pathetic in my opinion. Um, not even like that's u unique to the USA, because, you know, USA didn't just make it up themselves. Um, now, before I end this, because I'm running out of time on this, so I'm it, I'm going to tell you about, for me, the thing I taught the worst of all. And, there's something, and this is something that I actually don't remember anything of what they taught in this one. So in grade 5, they taught French. Yeah. So I live in Canada. And, you know, in Canada, they teach French. And I can go into another video about why I don't like this entire idea of teaching the English speakers French. And the, hip and the hypocrisy in it, you know? But I'm not going over that right now. I was talking about how they taught French. So... I don't understand French. The only language I know right now is English. I wouldn't mind learning French or wouldn't mind learning other languages, but the only language I know right now is English. So back then, I hated this. You know, I didn't want I didn't want to learn French. And I said that I don't want to learn French. I just want to speak English. I don't like this. And the problem with how my problem with how I taught this, well first off, I only taught it for like a year. And for me that's like nowhere near enough for little kids with, like, barely any experience, I'd say, to this in total, to, like, learn French, I'd say. Because it wasn't like, oh, speak French all the time when you're, like, doing your everyday life. It wasn't, like, one of those classes. It was... What it was was just, they would... It was a play. And this play, you know, you spoke it in French. So, my problem with this first time was, of course, you can just learn the lyrics and then not learn their meanings and then just, you know, do it off that. To be honest, if I was more interested in this, I'd say I probably would have done that. I would have just learned the lyrics and never learned their meanings. But I didn't, because I didn't like plays. I didn't like working with other people like that. I didn't like speaking French. You know, I didn't like being forced to learn another language. You know. So I didn't bother. I just had me do other things. And then, you know, yeah, so... <sighs> it's horribly taught, in my opinion. And from what I understand... You don't learn Quebec French. You know, 
considering this is Canada and whatnot, maybe you should learn Quebec French. Like, I, th I thought that was the point. But no, you apparently learn, like, national French. Like, the French spoken in all the Francophone countries, excluding Quebec. Including France, of course. So, like, really? Like, I understand that's more, like, globalized, but... Like, I thought the whole point was so you could communicate with Quebec. I thought that was the intention. To me, it's literally, like... If, like, in the USA... Well, no. I mean... No, not as much. I gotta give an example, but no. <laughs> I'm not gonna give an example. I think it speaks for itself. For me... I don't know what they're thinking. <laughs> Why don't you learn Quebec French? Like, I thought that was the point. I understand. And even then, you teach it... Like... You know? You teach it. So, with such, you know, limit. You know, you don't... I only learned it for like a year. And that's it. So, of course, I'm not going to actually learn the language or anything. I can't communicate with French. I was not taught how to do that. So, you didn't teach it good at all, in my opinion. If you ask me, what they should have done is literally have you learn it on the side throughout the entirety of school if they actually wanted you to learn it. Yet, they teach it horribly as far as I'm concerned. So horribly that they should have... They should just not even bother as far as I'm concerned. But I'll go into that later. So, I'm, I'm out of time with this one. So, goodbye.